Hey folks, it's Mark here from Street FX and I'm at SEMA 2019 and one of the most interesting cars that I've stumbled upon so far is this all-electric C10 behind us. They've named it the Chevrolet E10 Performance Concept. Now let's go chat to the guys from Chevrolet and see how they came up with this and what they've done to actually make this a reality. Now one other thing that I want to point out before I get to that is that they've made these little modular engine packages that are designed to bolt in place of a internal combustion motor. Now check that and it also will bolt up to your existing transmission mission and engine mount. So let's go locate someone from Chevrolet and have a chat to them to see what it actually took to build this thing. Hey, how are you doing? This is Russ Oblinas from the Chevrolet Performance booth at the 2019 SEMA show. So we're going to hear to talk about our Chevrolet E10 electric concept vehicle. So what we did last year, we came to SEMA with our e Copo which was an all-electric Camaro drag car. With that concept, that was really where we started looking at what would an electric crate package look like. So we took that, that had a lot of aftermarket components and was really designed for high performance, short duty cycle. So coming back this year, we built our E10 to really bring what would the next step be of more of a productionized electric crate. So this, was designed specifically for range and to have a more cost-effective package that has more production components so you would get production validation and a lot more safety content than we did on our race parts. So this, what we did was we started with our Bolt EV, which is our production vehicle that has a lot of great components in it. We actually took two complete propulsion systems, batteries, all of the power electronics, and then we built specific motors that could be stacked that would be a direct replacement for our internal combustion engine. And then each of the independent Bolt EV systems run each of the motors independently. They directly bolt in to one of our crate transmissions, a 4L75E transmission, that then bolts up to the rest of the truck drive line. So it's really, the whole point is, if you have this awesome older hot rod that you love and you want to be able to make it from an internal combustion engine to an electric, how can we give a turnkey package that can plug in? This package actually uses the Bolt batteries, which there's a pair of them located in the bed of the truck. And then one of the other interesting things is we left the systems completely independent, which allows us to independently charge each battery at the same time. So one of the things with PowerTour is um, it's about 250 miles is the longest run. We wanted to have the ability during the stay at the hotel to be able to charge both batteries up again so you'd be able to make the whole distance every day. So having the ability to charge both batteries at the time at the same time can help reduce that charging time. So Rich, um, our partner Rich Downing, he basically literally went out on the internet and found two of these 62 Chevy long boxes. We bought one for a mule and then one that would be the actual show car. And Rich and his team, um, we worked through designing and implementing all the execution of packaging it while our GM design team worked on the styling of the body. As you can see, it's just totally a work of art between the paint and all of the, the body modifications that they made where it truly keeps the, the true passion of the vehicle but just has some real modern touches that really tie it all together. So obviously under the hood, we have our two independent um, power electronic systems. So this is the high voltage switch box. We have our onboard charger, our inverter, and our ECU. So each side is one independent part of the package. Charge ports on both sides, so one for each battery. So that's exactly the, the bolt charging port. And then our different cooling systems to charge, to cool the inverters, the motors, and then um, the AC system. It has a standard hydraulic brake system on it. And then as we come around the side, in the bed of the truck, we have our dual bolt batteries mounted. So they're basically nested, one battery on the bottom and then the other one facing the other way. So these are production bolt batteries. All the cooling and heating systems that are in the production package are underneath. And um, you can see we've stacked them and have all the power electronics. We've also added some storage and stuff. So you can, you know, if you're on a trip and you need to store things again with the vision of um, being able to run it on power tour. Inside, we have a full digital dash. Um, it's not on right now, but that has all of your charge information, 
how the regenerative braking works, so the vehicle has regen braking, so it can recharge the battery as you're driving, um, onboard air conditioning, and also one of the things that came out of last year with Ecopo was the fact that people were really wanting some sound. So what we did on this was we actually um, worked with an outside company and developed a package where you can have selective soundtrack. So this has um, Z28, LS7, Z28, a truck engine, and actually I call it the Jetsons, but a futuristic sound that's tied into the pedal and the motor speed. And it actually gives you that sound relative to your load and your throttle angle. So you can step on the pedal and it actually sounds like an LS7 V8. So, kind of a cool addition to try to give you that sound. So the truck is a little bit under 6,000 pounds, right around 5950. Has 450 horsepower, 470 foot-pounds of torque. Um, zero to 60 in the high five second range, quarter mile time in the mid 13s. So, I mean, our whole thing is we've been a leader, General Motors has been a leader in crate powertrain systems. So we see this as that next step to kind of bookend our portfolio. Right, you can buy a 755 horsepower LT5. Now, what can we offer the customer that really wants that electric propulsion system? So we can use our great toolbox that we have with internal components to be able to put a package together that the customer can use. If you look over here, if you're interested, we, we designed it with a modular bell housing and crank flange. So this is exactly the same as on an LS engine. So it literally, in this truck, it just has a LS um, flex plate and then it bolts right into the truck. These motor mounts are designed to mount up to, a, to the vehicle. Okay, so you could just take a, any GM car and drop this in there. Correct. The biggest, the biggest hurdle that's really the next step is um, how do you make... The, accommodate the battery. Yeah, ma well, make them at least modular, right? You're gonna, if you want the energy and the range, you really can't make them smaller, but you can make them modular so you can at least spread them out. Right, this is a great solution for a pickup truck, but it really won't work in a Camaro. Okay. Right, so that's one of the things that we're working on is how do you make it where you can take our production components, put them in smaller boxes to allow you the ability to put them in different places in the vehicle and then tie them together. But still maintain the validation and all the safety that we have with our great production products. Being that you're uh, obviously representative of Chevrolet and then the history is all gasoline and automotives, how do you feel about this sort of? So I, I have been doing race engines for GM for almost 30 years now, so I can tell you I get a lot of abuse, but I will say that um, everyone understands how cool and how much possibility it has, right? In General Motors, if you look at our, um, our directive of having zero emission vehicles be a, a big part of our future, this is a perfect opportunity for people to be able to have an awesome truck like this and be able to have it with zero emissions and really have the latest technology. So, I mean, to me, I think there's a place for both in performance. And what we want to do is make sure that we're leading the, leading the charge. We have a great team of engineers that have developed amazing product. And how can we bring it to the next level for the street rider to be able to use it in their, in their vehicles? I don't know if we mentioned it before. What was the range on this? Um, right around 250 miles. Okay. And uh, charge time? Um, so it, if you're charging them both, on a 220, it's 10 hours. On a 220 charger, at fast charge, it's about four and a half if you have a DC fast charger. It's pretty. Yeah. I love it. I love the color that our design team. So who did the, all the body work? All in-house. Everything was done. This whole entire vehicle, the only thing we sent out was paint. So all of the machining, all of the fabrication, wiring, mounting, everything was done with in-house GM. We have an amazing team. Great, great team of people did it. Cool. Well, thank you very much. Awesome. For taking great time. to meet great you. Time. Yeah, you too. Thank Cheers. you.